Hey, welcome to Era 51 Raceway. So, uh, I wanted to cover some uh, <clears throat> tire treatments that are out there. So, we have the NSR one that I've done a video on, which is the 4605. Uh, this works really well. I recommend if you do have this, is coating it on your tires and then letting it soak overnight. Or, or if you want, 30 minutes. And then uh, clean it with the uh, Zippo lighter fluid and uh, run it on your track. Now there's some other stuff that a good friend of mine turned on to, turned on to me to uh, Mr. John Albright, which is this uh, Trinity Monster Traction Tweak. So this has been around quite a while, and it's mainly for the for the uh, RC people. But uh, this actually works pretty good, and it's a rubber and foam cleaner for light traction. And uh, as you can see, I put some on this NSR car, and how it's kind of marbling up which is a good thing because <laughs> that means it's really penetrating the tire and just really getting it nice and pliant to the track. And this car does very well, as I'll show you in the video, going around the track with no weight and you know nothing else but body float and front axle adjustment and tires. And these are the stock tires that came with this car originally, the NSR tires. And with this stuff, it'll last you forever because it's such a huge bottle. Obviously it has a little dauber there for, um, you know, for RC cars because the wheels are bigger for one tenth scale and so forth that they use them for. So what I recommend doing is getting a Q-tip and lightly just jabbing it. You don't need to go too crazy since it's a small car, obviously, and just kind of coat it. And I'm using a Q-tip as an example to show you, you know, to coat it. You could use your fingers because it's probably not a great idea to probably use this, but. I'm just doing it because this little dauber is a little tough to use and uh, I'm sure I could find an applicator somewhere to do it but and again you could even just uh, coat it and uh, let this sit overnight that's what I'm going to do to see what she does in the morning compared to what she did earlier and uh, just do the other side as well like so coat it uh, what I'm going to do is just let this sit <coughs> and uh, see it let the oil penetrate the tire. Probably that would be better to just do it like that. <laughs> I mean, again, this is the first time you kind of trying to round this about, so I'm just covering the whole tire here. And I'm going to let this sit overnight. So I'll place the car over here, let it sit overnight. And I'm going to do the same thing with the uh, <coughs> with the uh, Polycar, so I've used the the uh, NSR oil on this one, so I'm going to do the Trinity on this and coat these and see if I can get, if this stuff will be just a tad bit better than the, or maybe a lot better than the NSR stuff. And uh, again, just really kind of, maybe going a little heavy handed here, but again, I'm experimenting with this. And, uh, one thing about this is none of these are glued onto the wheel and uh, that'd probably be the best thing to do is to glue these onto the wheel. I haven't glued any of these onto the wheel because I'm experimenting and I will glue them onto the wheel and you can use nail polish or CA glue and put it on the very edge of the rim on the inside on each side of the wheel and then put the tire on uh, by lifting the lip up. They make little toothpicks that you could kind of add the uh, lift up the rim, the uh, the tire as you're putting little glue on the edge of the wheel but for now we're going to do this just to experiment and again this is just an experimentation on stuff and I'm going to let this car soak overnight because I want to see what it's going to do too and I'm going to do also to the thunder slot which I only lightly treat it and see how this is going to do as well so I will coat this tire and uh, these are stock um, thunder slot tires. And see how this handles as well by putting some of this on here and letting it soak in. I may be going a little bit too much, but I'm just trying to get the tire nice coated and soaked up to see what happens. Because again, I'm experimenting with these. Just uh, gonna see what's gonna happen <laughs> in the morning. You know, when I get them all cleaned up with some naphtha and see what they could do. And this will be a little bit tougher because I gotta spin the wheel. 
like that. I wanted to coat it. That way, like that. I'm spinning the outside of it a little bit more. Like that. Like that. And just keep kind of coating it. Again, I'm probably going a little too heavy, but that's okay. Uh, again, I'm experimenting. All right, you should go a little bit lighter. <laughs> <laughs> like I said, I'm just gonna try this stuff out and see how how well it does. Now I'm gonna let this car sit overnight too. Go over here on my bench upside down. And uh, as you can see, I got three of these babies right there. And they are gonna sit there overnight and we'll come in the morning and see what happens after we clean up with some uh, of the lighter fluid naphtha on my little temporary strip there where I just put the naphtha on here and then I have a power supply hooked up to this and run it and see what what goes on when I'm done. But as you can see there's a little this is a large bottle of stuff and it's this is a real big little dauber here. Let me pick this up and uh oh get it on the car here. And um uh, it's just got a little bit pretty big. But uh we'll see what happens in the morning. Uh so stay tuned. Hey, we're back here and uh, back at the track. It's the next day. I had soaked this in the, uh, I should say I've coated them and let them sit overnight with the tire tweak uh, in the uh, previous video I showed you before we got to this point. And uh, so far the results have been very positive. So I've soaked them onto the poly car, uh, F1 car. And then also I did it with the NSR F1 car. And I did it with the Thunderslot uh, Elva. So the Elva has the stock tires that came with it. The uh, Polycar, can't get it on <laughs> The Polycar has the NSR Ultra Grip tires that I got for them. I believe these are 20 by 12 uh, tires. Put these on here. I trued them a little bit as best I could. This truing rubber is a little bit tougher. And then the NSR is the tires that came with it and they are NSR brand tires. So they pretty much get the tires nice and, and soft and sticky. After doing these and letting this sit, I got the Zippo lighter fluid and cleaned them off and uh, ran them on the track and they were pretty, pretty positive results. Now, I know I don't have a timing system on here and that's something I'm gonna take care of pretty soon here. But when you see them run around the track, you're gonna see how well they do with, you know, proper tuning and making sure your axle's at the right height and, uh, you know, your guide and all that other stuff that you do with tuning, body float, chassis float. And then with a good set of tires and some, you know, little additives here on the tires, some little oil, it does really good. And I mean, you don't have to get the tire tweak. I'm just trying to tire tweak because this idea was given to me by John Albright. And I want to thank him very much. I'm going to give him credit for because he's done quite really does a lot of tire testing because he has one of the toughest surfaces to really hit your car to grip, and that's a, 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 a scale electric track, and that's what he has, a scale electric sport track, and that surface is very hard to really get things to hook up. Now, I do have a Carrera track, obviously this is a little bit more grippier, but with this uh, stuff, it does really well, and again, any oil will help you as well, as I did a video on the NSR oil um, for your tires, but it's really positive results the way these cars, you know, do real well around the track, it really enhances the driving of it and it really does improve the, you know, improve the handling quite a bit and it's so important, you know, tires are one of the big factors of your stock car. If you have crummy tires, you can do all the tuning in the world and if you just have really junky tires where they're not, you know, doing what they should be, then the car will never really perform as you want it to. So let's whirl these on the track so you can see how they look like after, a, you know, some uh, soaking overnight of the tire, the uh, monster traction tire tweak, and then cleaning up with the uh, lighter fluid the next day and then running them around. All right, here we go. We have the poly car. We're going to give it a shot. is at 4.3 volts. There we go. Not too bad with that 
that treatment of the tires. So these are NSR uh, 20 by 12 tires, the uh, Ultra Grips from NSR. And then, you know, I made sure that these wheels spin nice and free like that. And I'll do a little tuning video on this because I got on a duplicate of this car and I can explain what I've done and uh, what it takes to get these cars to get real, you know, handle real nice on your track. And you can see I got the body float in there. I've loosened these screws, those front screws, and uh, you get yourself some flex there. And you can play with this as you, you know, tune the car, loosen here, loosen there, tighten up here, tighten up there. That's how I have a nice body movement. So this is this car really handles real well once you get it all set up and get some good set of, of tires and uh, try that tire tweak on there or any type of oil to get your tires to, to hook up. So the next car we're gonna go on to is the NSR. And these are the tires that came with the car that have been treated. And we'll give it a run, uh, you know, it's been tuned, we'll give it a run, run around the track, see what it does. This car is really, these cars are really a lot of fun to drive. I like the NSR Formula ones. And I haven't tuned really too much my golf player special ones. Uh, so I need to work on that one. But this one I've had for a while. When these first came out, uh, I didn't get one. And I bought this from somebody else that I didn't want it. I paid a pretty good price for it. And, and again, once you get these all set up, and they handle real good for your track. There you go. So on this particular one that I have it set up for my track, I got, you know, body float, chassis float. Uh, I have the slot invasion guide. I changed the braids to the slot car corner ones. And then I adjusted my axle. And you can see again, see how those spin nice and easy. That's what you want. And uh, the axle's adjusted, you know, where I want it. And then I haven't done any floor shine on the front tires, which I will later on. But again, the uh, tire tweak, I got it on. You see they're nice and soft and uh, they, uh, they do real well. So the next car I'm gonna show you, what we're gonna put on is the Elva Thunder Slot. And these are the tires that came with it. And I treated these tires. And this is the Slot Invasion Guide with uh, braids that I changed out as well. And you know, body float and uh, pod float and all that. So we'll run it around here and you'll see how this one does. Whoa, <laughs> a little bit too much gusto there. Let's go back on here. Got a little too much there. Yeah, got a man's got a nose limitations like Tony Food said, huh? Oh, well, it does real well. The tires really grab the grip pretty good for soft, you know, thunder soft tires. And then again, I can change these to some ultra grips and give you a little bit better time on it. But if you have the soft tires and you treat them, again, you don't have to get the tire tweak. I'm just experimenting with the tire tweak. You can use the oil oil and uh, clean it with the uh, naphtha zipper letter. So it, it helps a lot with the, some proper tuning. Tires are a real big factor on your slot car. And there you have it. No, oh, then we just wipe out over there at the last second. <laughs> That's over in front of the grant garages here. So let me grab this one. Ugh. So there you have it. So there you go. Here's the uh, re end results of using the uh, Monster Traction Tire Tweak. So. This stuff, it, this is nothing new. This stuff has been around. It's for the RC guys. It's used on foam tires. It's a rubber and foam cleaner. Uh, that's what they say it is. It's odor free. Yeah, this stuff will last you forever for slot cars. I mean, it's it's a huge bottle. I mean, this is $13.99 from Trinity. And I'll set the link there in the description where to get it from. And it's 
to me, it's uh, I like it. I, I like it better than the NSR oil. It's um, it does really well. It really gets the tires nice and you know pliable. And again, you can see me move the car back and forth, and I'm using quite a bit of force. And I mean, it takes a lot to do that <laughs> to move the car. As you can see it's really on there. Same thing with the uh, the F1 and then the Thunder slot. So I mean, they, they grip really well. So if you want to try this stuff out, uh, not a bad. Not a bad thing to try out for $13.99. I mean, you could put it on stock rubber you know, tires if you have a stock Carrera car. Try it out on your stock rubber tires. I mean, it doesn't hurt. Um, just to give you a little help of you know, handling and stuff. And again, tires are always important and adding a little additive to help you out is no big deal. It's, it really helps, helps the car handle good along with proper tuning of the car. Great enhancement. So it's something I would recommend. And again, thanks, John, for t turning me on to this stuff. Huh? I'm really going to use it more often because I actually like it. And uh, again, I got a lot more cars I could deal with and uh, a lot more things I could do to make them better. Now, on I was told by John also, you can use a light coat of this on urethane. I haven't tried it yet, and I will. Uh, for silicone tires, no, don't even bother. That's not needed for silicone tires. Silicone tires are a different animal. But if you have a... Uh, you know, stock car that you're just getting into this stuff that you just got out of the box and you tune it and then you want to enhance the tires that you have on it. You can do that with a traction tweak and uh, or tire tweak. You could use that stuff or buy yourself a set of NSR, you know, tires and do that to get a little bit more. You know, you get a better performing tire. You get, you get what you pay for and, uh, you know, go that route. So I hope you enjoyed this video on just the stuff that I, uh, that I discovered uh, thanks to Again, the slot car community, they are always very willing to help you. And John has helped me out with a few things on, on tire because he's done a lot of testing on his cars because he's got a lot of cars. And you'll see him on Facebook. He's always doing different things and stuff. So, but that's it from Area 51 Raceway. And uh, I hope you guys have a good one and have fun racing.